Hey guys, so today I just want to make a quick little video. I want to show you a little bit what I've been working on lately. Uh, I basically been uh, more interested in programming for iOS devices using Apple's Xcode program, uh, which is right now using Swift uh, 3, uh, which you can do some pretty interesting stuff in. Uh, so basically I've been following some tutorials and it's quite interesting actually to build your own apps just because Apple is focusing a lot on making quality stuff like quality software. Uh, so basically I made this quick little, by following a tutorial, I want to show you what I have been doing and working on a little bit here. So I did like a follow a tutorial, changed the sprites a little bit and I understood the code and now I call the game emoji uh, kill game. So basically what it is here is when you load up the game it loads up in a tile, uh, 9 by 9 uh, tile system. Uh, it it uh, loads up a bunch of emojis and it basically you can switch places and your goal is basically to match them in um, like 3 by 3. So you need, you need to find matches uh, where there will be 3 of the same emojis in the same line. So it's quite interesting to understand that code. You can also see that if you do a mistake uh, or a move uh, that is not valid, uh, that it wouldn't result in a match, you're not allowed to do that. Uh, but uh, it was quite interesting to write the code for it. You can also see some very, very nice details like um, uh, you can see the score pop up, uh, like how much score I get. And there also is a combo system. So uh, if I get two in a row, uh, that basically multiplies the score. So, every, so if you make one move, you get one uh, successful one, and then you get another one. Then the score doubles for the for the second match to 120 points here, the 60 points for the first one. Uh, you can also see some other good stuff here. I have the target set to 1,000 there. So basically, I need to get 1,000 uh, in in the score. Right now, I have 900, and I also have 10 moves left. And of course I can change those things. If you run out of moves, you lose. You also have a quick cool little button down here where you can randomly uh, swap the emojis so these gets randomized to another location. So what happens if I make the full map finish? So I just need to one, one more to make a successful, uh, to finish this one up. So, okay, there we go. So basically what's gonna happen now is, is this level complete. And if I tap again, it's gonna load another, it's gonna to move to level two, uh, which is used another level that I have stored in another file. And uh, I can of course customize these levels however I want them to look like. So this one has um, kind of like on the sides, you can't really do one, you can't really match one over there, but for design purposes, it's pretty cool. So um, yeah, that that's basically a little bit like I mean, it's really, really cool to learn how to do these cool things inside of iOS. Uh, I might also do it with Android in the future, but uh, this app thing is really, really cool. Uh, I like the possibilities, especially with Apple's latest software. Um, they've done some really, really cool stuff. So you might want to look into that with Xcode 8 right now. And uh, because it's, it's, it's really cool, actually. It's really cool to make your own stuff. And um, yeah, have a nice day.